Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. With his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrills and fun Whoa. with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Buffalo Bill. Nothing, just some Indians over there. Indian. Indians? That's nothing to worry about. Sir, uh, if you're looking for the hotel, it, it, it's right over there. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're welcome, Mr. Um... Uh, Greeley, Silas Greeley. This is my daughter, Rowena. Sure glad to meet you. How do you do? Uh, I'm called Buffalo Bill Jr. Uh, glad to know you, Bill. If you're staying here a while, I'd sure like to show you around town. Oh, thank you. We'll remember that. You are staying a while. Well, that's possible. Here, let me help you with the bags of the hotel. Thank you. Right this way. Miss Rowena? Yes? Do you like horses? Oh, yes, I love horses. Oh, swell, so do I. Uh, I was thinking, maybe sometime you'd like to ride my horse, Chief. That's awfully kind of you. I'd love it. <coughs> really must go now. Well, bye. Hope to see you again sometime. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, Bill. Yes, sir? I'll take my bags if you don't mind. Bags? Yeah. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. It's long now. So long. I got news for you, boss. Looks like you're going to be out of business. What are you talking about? There's been some talk back at the county seat of them extending the railroad out this way. Well, they've started. How do you know? They're stringing a telegraph line through Wingate Pass, heading smack for here. That means the railroad's coming, don't it? How'd you find out about the telegraph lines? I saw it with my own eyes. How about your passengers? They see it too? Nah, they didn't see nothing. I'm the only one here who knows about it. Well, keep it to yourself, understand? I got to do some thinking about it. You mean like selling out the stage line before word gets around? Maybe. Will there be anything else? Uh, let me see the knife. This one? Yes. How much? Judge, how much is this knife? That'll be 50 cents. That'll be 50 cents. I buy this. That'll be seven dollars. Not seven dollars for one ticket. Take it or leave it. Always two dollars for mother to write a reservation. You tried to charge too much. Why not pay? You'll pay or your mother will walk to the reservation. Now pay me the money or get out. She not walk. And you not cheat me. I pay fair price. I said get out. I not get out. Even, isn't it? 
isn't it? No Indian's going to pull a knife on me and get away with it. He tried to cheat me, charge me too much for ticket. Look, Indian, I own the stage line. If you want your mother to ride on it, you're going to pay what I tell you to. Now get out. Mr. Carter, you can't do things like that. It's bad business. Look, young fella, I don't need your advice. Now get your mail and beat it. If you want to keep carrying the mail, you better run your stage line like it ought to be run. Don't forget, my Uncle Ben's not only the town marshal, justice of the peace, he's also the postmaster, too. Yeah, well, we're not taking orders from that old coot. Look, you gonna beat it? Yeah, when I'm ready. You're ready. <laughs> I must have slipped. court charged with assault upon a person of running deer here. Are you pleading guilty or not guilty? Not, not guilty. guilty. But you can't plead not guilty. We got a witness here in the person of Bill. You're fined $50. Oh, now, wait a minute. This ain't a fair trial. Are you insinuating the judge been fair and square while he ain't fair and square? Why, that's contempt of court. But, Your Honor, I... Silence! That'll cost you another $50. Now, how about you? Do you think this is a fair trial? Well, uh, yes, I think it's a fair trial. You don't know such a thing. And that's perjury. You're also fined $50. Judge, how much is this box of pepper? That's 20 cents. The large size is much better buy, ma'am. You get twice as much for 35 cents. Was that all you wanted? Yes, sir. Well, sell her the large size. Now, let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, you just pleaded guilty to perjury. I did no such thing. Calling the court a liar is contempt. That'll cost you another 50. And now there's another little matter of overcharging passengers. You've been warned about that before. Look, I own that stage line. You or nobody else is going to tell me what to charge. That's more contempt. I'll just double that fine on the both of you. How much is that now, Bill? $400. $400? But to show you that I'm fair and square, I'm going to suspend that fine on the condition that you agree to haul Running Deer's mother anytime she wants to go to or from the Indian reservation. Before I haul any Indians for nothing, I'll sell that stage line and leave town. Well, now, that'll make a lot of people happy in this territory, including me. But in the meantime, you're going to haul Running Deer's mother free of charge until you do sell out. Well, that'll be mighty soon, believe me. Good! Court's adjourned. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. You've been standing here all morning. Who are you waiting for? No one. Go on home. Oh, Miss Rowena. Oh, hello. What a pleasant surprise. I just happened to be passing. Is this her? Uh, Miss Rowena, I would like you to know my baby sister, Calamity. Calamity? What an odd name. Not for her, it isn't. My brother's been waiting for you all morning. All right, I'm going. Hope you decide to stay in Wileyville, Miss Rowena. I think we might stay if Father can find some kind of business to go into. Well, he's all shod and ready to go, Bill. My, what a beautiful horse. He sure is, ma'am. And he's for sale cheap. I certainly wish I could own him. I just love him. I can make you a mighty good deal. Maybe your father could buy him for you. Oh, I couldn't ask him right now. He'll need all the money he has. Well, if you change your mind, he'll be here. Gee, I forgot to pay the blacksmith for fixing that shoe. I'll be right back, Miss Rowena. Well, say, how about you take the Sorrel Gilding, Joe? I'll take a hundred dollars for him. Hey, Joe. Joe, take a look at this shoe, will you? Give 
Excuse me, Mr. Dawson. Joe, I don't have a hundred dollars. Would you let me pay it off a little at a time, say 50 cents a week? No, if it's got to be cash, Bill. You want to make a hundred dollars, kid? Find me a buyer for the stage line, you've got it. Are you serious about wanting to sell out? Plenty. Well, I think I know somebody that might be interested. Good, bring him in. Maybe we can make a deal. Well, what do you think of the deal, Mr. Greeley? It looks pretty good according to the books. Sure would like to see you by the stage line, Mr. Greeley. You'll like living here in Wileyville. But it will take every dollar I've got. I reckon I better think it over. Well, you better do it fast. I've got somebody else interested. We'll see. What if he finds out about the railroad coming through? How's he gonna find out? Nobody knows about it except you. That's right. And I'm one hombre who knows how to keep his mouth shut. For a consideration, of course. Say about half the money? You're crazy. Maybe, but that's what it's gonna cost you. I've got you over a barrel. Yeah, I guess you have. I think I'm gonna be able to buy that little horse, Joe. Well, if you want him, I'll save him for you. Don't say anything about it to anyone, because I... Miss Rowena. Well, hello. I just stopped by to see Johnny. Johnny? I've already named him. You kind of like that little horse, don't you, ma'am? I sure do. Would you like to ride him? May I? Sure, go right ahead. I'll get him for you. Oh, no, you're not. I'd like to know why not. For two very good reasons. First, you're a girl. She's a girl. Yeah, but she's a big girl. Well, you'd like me to go with you, wouldn't you? Why, yes, I think that would be very nice. <laughs> Bill, I'll rush you over that hill. Oh, you will, will you? But do you think we ought to go any farther? Of course not, Miss Rowena. Not if you don't want to. You feeling tired? No, but I was wondering about the Indians. Do you think it's safe? There aren't any hostile Indians around here. Well, when Dad and I were coming in on the stage, the driver saw some over there and he seemed pretty worried. Over where? Over there. He stopped and watched them through the spyglass. Calamity, take Miss Rowena home. I'm gonna do some looking around. Why can't we go look with you? Because I said so. Now, will you please go back? <laughs> Howdy. What's going on? Putting through a telegraph line. Ain't you heard the railroad's coming through? You mean it's coming through Wileyville? They're through to Santa Fe. There you are. Well, that does it. You bought yourself a stage line, Mr. Greeley. I'll just go over to the office and get my stuff out of there. I'll be along directly as soon as I sign the papers for the mail contract. Oh, by the way, give this hundred dollars to Bill, will you? What's this for? It's a commission I promised him for making the deal. Going somewhere? I'm leaving town. You got any objections? Not so long as I get my share of the money before you leave. I figure you've got nothing coming. You better figure again, else you ain't leaving here. You're asking for trouble? I'm asking for just what I got coming. Now, do I get it or do I take it out of your hide? <laughs> You and I hope you've made a good deal. Thank you, Judge. So do I. Your boy Bill said it would be. He's the one who really sold me. Father, Cousin Clara just sent this newspaper clipping. Says they're going to build a railroad through here. What? Let me see that. Railroad? I don't understand. What does it mean, Father? Well, it means I've been swindled. Well, sir, this is the first I've ever heard of it. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Why would I allow you to do such a thing? Well, you're in business, aren't you? 
You and that boy of yours are pretty shrewd. Now, just a minute. Well, young man, you've earned your commission, all right. You bought the stage line? He did, and congratulations. Bill, did you know that railroad was coming through here? Well, I do now. That's what I want to tell you about. You must feel very proud of yourself for helping swindle my father out of every cent he had. What about this, Bill? I just found out about the railroad. That's why I hurried back to stop Mr. Greeley from buying the stage line. Wait a minute. Where are you going now? To find Larry Carter and get Mr. Greeley's money back. I'm going with you. Ben, look. Larry Carter. Yeah, he's been stabbed to death. That's Running Deer's knife. Calamity sold it to him. Yeah, but Running Deer wouldn't kill anyone. Well, I don't know. They say he threatened Carter. As my deputy, you're going to have to bring him in, son. Larry Carter's been murdered. That Indian did it. I not kill him. You admit this is your knife? Yes, it's my knife. Carter took it from me. Last time I, I see knife, it was stuck in, in the side of the desk. Judge, there's a crowd of men in front of the stage depot and they're talking awful mad. I better go take a look. You ought to string up that engine. That's what they ought to do. That's crazy talk. You don't even know that Running Deer did it. What do you mean by that? Yeah, if the engine didn't kill Carter, who did? We're not sure yet, but I'll bet you the judge finds out. We don't need no judge to take care of a murdering Indian, do we? No. Oh, that's right. All right, so what are we waiting here for? Come on, let's go hack him. Judge, those fellows are going to make trouble. Uh, maybe, maybe you better lock Running Deer in the cell to play safe. Our jail? That's no good. They could push it open with their bare hands. Our best bet is to get him to the county seat. Do you think you can get him there? You bet. We'll go out the back way and circle around town. Let's go, partner. Get, nobody will get hurt. We're taking that Indian. Bring the rope. Come on, hurry it up. running deer I'll try to hold them off no I stay here you won't stay now get going that's an order He's horse. He can't get away now. Come on. We'll have to find our horses. It can't be too far away. Round up every man you can find. This time we'll take a posse and get that Indian. I'll meet you at the store. But you had no business to let him go. He was your prisoner. Yes, sir, I know, but, but Running Deer's horse wasn't as fast as theirs. I couldn't let him take him. Running Deer didn't kill Carter, I'm sure of it. There's just some way we could prove it. 
That knife. The plant was broken when we found it, wasn't it? Yes. Well, was it broken when Running Deer bought it? Well, of course not. Well, then if he's telling the truth about the knife being stuck in Carter's desk... <laughs> Sure did. Enough to prove that Running Deer was telling the truth about his knife, and you were lying. Is that so? Unbuckle your gun belt. Now, before you can tell anybody anything, you're going over to that safe and open it. I'll give you the combination. Move. Back to 15. Now open it. Now what? I come in and find a man robbing the safe. Of course, with his back to me, I don't know who it is until after I've shot him. You mean Jed killed Carter? That's right, and he probably robbed him, too. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he didn't have the money on him. Right you are, only it isn't Carter's. It's yours, Mr. Greeley. It was self-defense. Carter promised me half of the money for not saying anything about the railroad coming through. Who all knew about that railroad? Why, just Carter and me. You men all go home now before I arrest you all for disturbing the peace. Bill, you better lock your prisoner to Calaboose. Oh, wait a minute, son. I think Bill has done enough for one day, Judge. Suppose you and I jail the prisoner and let Bill stay here and listen to something my daughter has to say. See, that's not a bad idea. Come on here. Come on. Bill, I'm terribly sorry I misjudged you and sorry for all the things I said. I only wish there was something I could do to make up for it. There is. Kiss him. Now, Calamity. <laughs> Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. Cause no one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr. Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill 